thought I'd give you an idea of what I'm up to over the Thanksgiving holiday. <clears throat> been trying to do this for several months, but uh, we uh, I put together a new bench for the uh, radio shop, and uh, I'm not quite done, but here's what I've got so far. I've uh, on this uh, row here. I've got my HP dual power supply. Got my uh, Handtech digital oscilloscope. Got my bench VOM. Here's some miscellaneous. Uh, here's the LC meter that I built a while back. A little buzzer that I'm going to be using on the uh, um, on the Pick a Star antenna analyzer. Over here I got my multifunction counter. On the bench here I've got my desoldering uh, unit. Just got this, I haven't used it yet, but this is uh, from Circuit Specialist. It's a SMD rework station, so I'm excited about that. My trusty old soldering iron. The ISO tip that they sent me. I've got my uh, Isolation transformer here. This this socket's wore out. I got a replacement one that I'm hoping I can get fit in there. My Variac. My uh, Heathkit uh, vacuum tube voltmeter. My Sprague uh, um, Telemic TO-6. Now, bought that off of eBay. I was told it was working okay, but... Uh, when I got it in, it's off. I imagine it probably just needs to be recapped. Um, I got my uh, Harbor Freight Special uh, ultrasonic cleaner that works pretty good. Um, I went ahead and hung all my wrenches and wire cutters and uh, pliers and so on, so on, so forth there. Down underneath here, I got my spools of wire solder, some more wire over there. Up here I've got boxes of parts. Uh, I'm going to go through those and clean those up. Some of those I I don't need it. Uh, here's a bunch of surface mount capacitors and resistors. Uh, I got my, my uh, up in this box I got my capacitors. Uh, here's some old uh, Here's some additional capacitors and some resistors. Here's some 24 gauge and 28 gauge hookup wire. Um, that's more for my electronic experiments. Up on the top shelf, I got my HP uh, RF generator um, in these boxes here. Uh, this is my little IC socket uh, adapter. Er, this is for programming, um, the sockets for programming uh, uh, micro, uh, microcontrollers and so on and so forth. And then when I bought the, uh, the uh, SMD re rework station from CSI, I also got, I bought the assortment, so I've got all these, uh, these tips in, in there, so I put those in one one of these for convenience and then I've got my HP waveform generator there and then over here I've got my HP uh, spectrum analyzer and I've got a little bit more work to do I'm gonna go ahead and put a put a 2x4 at the back of these so they tilt down towards me so they're a little bit easier to read as I go along. Over here I've got my laptop that um, I've got all the uh, um, schematics for the old radios and everything loaded on that and then I'm also going to um, have a uh, webcam that I'm going to mount up to the top so I'll be able to do some filming without and without having uh, just, uh, they'll free up both hands. I bought this interesting thing here. 
And basically what this is is a voltmeter and a current meter. Got the sense in here. I'm going to build a little box and hook this up to my uh, variac and everything so I can see how much current everything is drawing. And there we go. Put that into a box. I've got another isolation transformer. As soon as I find that, I may... Uh, it's not uh, It's not one of these ISO... ISO... What were these? ISO tap, I believe. It's not one of those. Um, I'm going to put it in a box and then put this in the box together with it and and uh, have that as a combined unit and then I'll just have my Variac separate. Now below here uh, what I've got is I've got several boxes with my current projects. That one's my Pick a Star Build 1 that I'm going to get back to here pretty soon. Then I've got a Genesis G11 I'm going to build. Uh, let me see, I've got another Pick a Star I'm going to build up there. And then this is the box that the S38's in, right? Parts from the S38 that I'm working on right now are in. There's an S38E in there. Another S38E in there. <laughs> that's actually a Sunbeam mixer we need to get put back together. But that's how I try to keep track of uh, what I'm working on. There's my Hickok uh, tube tester. I've got several others that'll go over on the other side and store. But anyway, that's what I'm up to. Hopefully this weekend I'm going to try to finish that up. And then we got quite a bit of ice uh, on Thanksgiving. So it was kind of hard to get out to my building that's just it's about two, three miles out in the country where I've got my uh, all my equipment for uh, media blasting and powder coating. Um, so hopefully it'll warm up just a little bit this weekend or go out there and get that... Uh, S38 case here or get that uh, media blasted then we got to fill that hole in and redrill those little holes out then I'm going to have to reposition or figure out what I'm going to do to mount the speaker because the, the new speaker that I got for it uh, does not fit on those mounting holes so that's uh, been kind of fun still got a lot of work to do as far as uh, Changing, uh, changing some stuff out, and figuring out exactly where it is. I've got, I've got a couple nice LED lights up here that work really well. Um, I've got to put a couple braces on to pull this eight-foot section together, give it a little bit more st strength. And I may end up going out and getting another another drawer unit. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't show you that. Uh, put these drawer units in, so I've got. All my crimping tools and everything in there. Got some additional probes, um, some additional screwdrivers down here. Some so uh, some of the soldering stuff here. Here's some uh, markings for the uh, probe for the oscilloscope. Then over here, I've got my uh, soldering tools, fi uh, files, tweezers. I've got some dentist picks. Um, I've got my adjustment tools here. Um, back here further, I've got an old set of nut drivers. I've got a magnetic uh, pickup there that I'm storing in there. Heat shrink tubing. I've got plenty of uh, plenty of uh, electrical tape. Bought a long time ago. So that's what we're going to do there. I've got some more stuff that. Needs to come in. I might go buy one more of those drawers, but or see if I can get get, get back here a little bit. But anyway, that's what it ends up looking like. I got some more storage over there that I got to move from the other side of the room and clean it up. I've got some stuff here in the middle of the room that um, once I get that stuff done, um, we're going to go ahead and uh, get it out of the middle of the room, free up some space. So. That's what we've been up to uh, over Thanksgiving, and hopefully next time you see it, I'll be working on some radios on it. So, till next time, KB0ASQ signing out.